Wonderful Wednesday, kindergartners. Um, today we're going to do our fun, wacky Wednesday morning message in just a minute. So I thought our greeting could be our wacky greeting that we do. Remember, it's called the backwards greeting. So, so instead of saying, good morning, Mrs. K, you're going to say, Mrs. K, morning good. So I'm going to say, good morning, students. Instead, I'm going to say it backwards. I'll say, students, morning good. And then you're going to say, Miss K, morning good. You guys ready to try? Here we go. Students, morning good. Great job. All right, now we're going to read our silly, wacky morning message. Are you ready? Pay close attention and see if you can find the mistakes. Today is April 29, 2020. Mm, that looks good. Dear math experts, today you're going to do something for math in your Seesaw post. Here we go. Today is Wednesday. You will have dentist workshop with Mrs. Feldkamp. Oh. Math with Mrs. Coolman and Jim with Mr. Moostar. This is a wacky message. All right, let's go back and see if we can find the mistakes. Think about where you see one. We're gonna start slow. Today is Wednesday. I actually see two mistakes in this word. The W I'm gonna cross out because days of the week always start with an uppercase letter. Wednesday. Do you see something else in Wednesday? You're right. We don't write uppercase letters in the middle of a word, so I'm going to write a lowercase d. All right, let's go to the next place. You will have dentist workshop. Wait a second. Are you guys studying to be dentists? I don't think so. What kind of workshop have you been having with Mrs. Feldkamp? Do you remember? A reading workshop. So I'm going to write the word reading as quickly as I can with my pen. Sometimes it's kind of tricky. Reading. Oh, ing. I hear the ing on the end. Just like one of our Letterlander groups. All right, there we go. We have reading workshop with Mrs. Feldkamp. Uh oh, something's wrong in Mrs. Feldkamp's name. You're right. It's a person's name, so Feldkamp starts with an uppercase F. We have math with Mrs. Coolman. Wait a second, is her name Mrs. Coolman? I don't think so. We're going to switch some of those letters to make it say Coleman. It's actually C O L E and then the word man at the end. And Jim. Hmm. How many M's does Jim have in it? I think it just has one, so I'm going to cross off those extras with Mr. Mustar. Okay, that looks right. This is, uh-oh, is does not have a Z. That's one of our snap words. What does is end with? It ends with sleepy Sammy, so we're going to write an S. This is a wacky message. Great job finding all those wacky mistakes. Now let's find out what your seesaw attendance post will be. Today your seesaw attendance post is to draw and write a subtraction sentence and post a picture on seesaw. So you could do this in your journal where you can write on the computer or your iPad if you want, or you can do it on a piece of paper and have mom or dad take a picture of it and send it to me. So today you're going to make a subtraction story. And I did an example for you. And I'll practice drawing it so you can see what that would look like. There were five jelly beans. Eleanor ate three. How many jelly beans are there now? So remember, it's asking me how many jelly beans. So make sure that you have a question that's asking what you want me to find out. So I'm going to use a space over here to draw my story and this is what you would do. You can use it on a piece of paper or on the computer or iPad. So there were five jelly beans. So I'm going to draw five jelly beans 
And jelly beans can be different shapes. Sometimes I get squishy ones in my bag too. So I want to make sure I have five. I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five. Eleanor ate three. Now remember, when we show subtraction, that means we're taking away. We have some and some go away. So if she ate three, I want to cross out three. So I'm going to put an X on three. I don't want to erase them because I want to show how many I started with. So instead, I'm just going to cross out the ones that are going away. Then the ones that are not going away are the ones that are left. So how many jelly beans are there now? There are two jelly beans left. So that's how I would show my subtraction sentence with a picture. So that's what you're going to do today. All right, our last part is our student shout out. And today it is a girl because yesterday we had a boy. So today is another girl. And I'm going to use this person's full name, but we might call her by her nickname or a shorter version of her name. So this person's name starts with an A. And this person is a girl. She is a very great artist, and one of her pieces of art was actually featured in our Da Vinci Fest this year, if you remember, a little bit earlier this year. She also has a great imagination and has a great smile and just loves school. Can you think about who it is? It's Addie. But today I'm going to write her full name, Adelina. So we're going to start her name with a capital A, because remember, we start everybody's name with a capital letter. Then we're going to do a D, an E, an L, an I, an N, and an A. So we have Adelina. What a beautiful name you have. Now, something's kind of fun about Adelina's name. She also has the first letter at the beginning and the end of her name. Let's go ahead and count how many letters are in her name by counting the vowels first and then the consonants. Remember the vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. So we're gonna circle the A, the first letter of her name because that is a vowel. The D is not. The E is also a vowel, but the L is not. The I is a vowel, but the N is not, and the A is a vowel. Well, what do you know? Addie has an A, B pattern in her name of vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant. Pretty cool. All right, let's count the ones we circled first. One, two, three, four. So Addie has four vowels, and she has one, two, three consonants. So let's go ahead and add those up. We have four plus three more. You can wiggle those fingers if you want, or you can do it in your head. We're going to start with four and count up. Four, five, six, seven. Addie has seven letters in her name. All right, let's all get ready now to give Addie a big class shout out. Remember, you can yell whatever you want to her. Send her a good message so she'll hear you. All right, are you guys ready to do a shout out to Addie? Here we go. One, two, three. Good morning, Addie. We're so excited that you're the student of the day. We hope you have a great day learning and have lots of fun with your family. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. We miss you. Oh, I don't know about you, but every time I do a student shout out, I feel better. All right, we're going to go to our next part of the calendar. Sometimes it just takes my computer a minute. All right, let's see. Yesterday we had 28. And I know when I'm counting in the 20s, 29 comes next. And 29 is the last number in the 20s. So I'm going to write a 2 and a 9. And then I'm going to go over here and figure out what pattern will come next. Oh, and I noticed, I think I forgot, and I took one of our patterns away when my computer was not in our slide mode. I'll have to fix that. All right, so we had chick, cloud, egg, bunny. Chick, ooh, cloud will come next, hopefully. There we go. 
it copied it this time. I think I have to go back and I need to find the bunny and put him back here for next time in case we need him. All right, let's go ahead and move our arrows as well today. We're going to move them in the reading direction one spot to the right. And let's see, today is Wednesday. That means yesterday was Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. And remember, tomorrow is our last day of learning for this week. We do not have school on Friday or on Monday. All right. I said we could pick a day of the week song or a month of the year, and I think we've done a month of the year, so I thought maybe today we could do a days of the week song. Let's just click on this one. This one might be a new one. You can name all the days with a Cockney accent. Oh. You can yell them all out as you jump from a high dive. Wednesday! You can call each day by its last three letters. Day, 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 day. But you better get it straight. There's seven days a week, not eight. The Beatles song is wrong. For the record, let me state that there's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And round again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And never end. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and round again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and never ends. The end. <laughs> That was a silly song. I like that one. I hope we get a chance to do that one again. All right, let's keep going on to the next part. And I'm going to take this one right here. It's still stuck there. I noticed I forgot to change that from yesterday. But today when I woke up, it was rather cloudy. Now cloudy is catching up to sunny, but we'll find out what happens tomorrow. All right. All right. I looked at the temperature for today, and the temperature for today says about 61 degrees. So I'm going to write a 6 and a 1. That's what my phone said. Now, it can always change. We know that about temperature. It can always go up or down. It's going to be about 61 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to find 60 first. That's the fastest way. 61 would probably be a little bit above 60. So maybe about right there. Then I'm going to go ahead and fill it in for us. Whoop, there we go. Now let's look at the pattern. First we had 73, then 54, now 61. What happened to the temperature? Did it stay the same? Did it go up or did it go down? Hmm. I notice that 61 is bigger than 54. That means the temperature went up, which is good because then it will feel warmer today. All right, we're going to do our tally, and today we get to cross over because remember our poem says one, two, three, four, standing tall. Number five goes across them all. So I'm going to cross it out like this, and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to erase the one and the nine because... We finished our teen numbers. Let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. We've come to school for 20, which is a two and a zero days in April. All right, our last part is going to be counting by twos today. And we're gonna stop at 100 today. We're gonna go try to go all the way to 100. Do you think you can do it with me? So think of an exercise. You're gonna have to do something for a long time. So if, if you can't do very many push-ups, that might not be a good choice. All right, here we go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100. Thanks for warming up with me, and I hope you have a great day of learning. 
Don't forget to send me your, your picture of your subtraction sentence. Have a great day!